That's facts. I mean, <laughs> the Taros, yes, like, if we're talking about what's meta right now, you're looking at them, right? Mm -hmm. Rocking the the black Taros on Demon Island. I remember when Demon Island's background was a little bit darker, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. that used to be meta. But. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's no, a, a lot easier to see the character now compared to the, the background. But we got Costlix now. Oh, on the axe opening up. Doing pretty well. And Macho Man, I, for Costlix, originally I felt like was a twos pick that just became a really solid ones pick in general. He's become really, really great with that signature kit. And axe kind of functions similar for him in the sense of how he likes to be able to use those side airs. So just great, uh, great play for Costlix all around so far. And, and so far, Stingray has done literally nothing. That side air connecting is just the beginning of him getting some damage onto Costlix. And no, uh, when you were mentioning earlier that, like, you know, how good Costlix performs may, like, be directly tied to like the balance patches like yeah, yeah. there is some truth to that because I mean Rocket Lance to speak to what the most recent changes were it now has kind of like that fixed side light dare yeah. that you can always go for at any percent right really. well, it's side light is such like a huge uh, a critical part of a Lance player's kit when it comes to just playing neutral in general so just having that feel just a little bit more comfortable like that as we yep. just saw oh. that side light down here look at how much and Costlix was already so good at problem solving any follow-up off of his weapon where it wasn't true and figuring out how to make mm -hmm. it as optimal as possible so just having a little bit of extra is really paying off here Stingray Stingray gets a side light in, but I mean Costlix is nice. just now in red on his first stock yeah I mean we were talking about before how like Stingray has like the head to head pretty handily, but now Costlix is looking like a brand new man, man. He's rocking this Macho Man. He's kicking tail, and not only that, I remember he learned Axe specifically because it had been in meta for so long. Before, yeah. his Axe used to be crusty. There was no other way to say it. Like, it was not good, yeah. but now it's like one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Macho Man was absolutely a stat pick that had yeah. Lance on it originally. And it, it, was, it, it was very similar to, to how Sandstorm picked up Zol, but with, with Costlix here now, you're right, he's doing really great on the Axe. I'd say the damage is almost split 50-50 mm -hmm. on how much he's done with Stingray so far, and that neutral on the Axe secures an entire stock lead here in Game 1. And I feel like at this point, I actually think, like, I, I feel like we've seen more Axe from Costlix in this game than the Rocket Lance. Now he's opted to pick for it. We're going to see if he's able to get that damage build up, because, I mean, we've seen it already. He's gotten quite a few neutral sigs on Ulgrim, which, hey, yo, it, it it hits pretty hard. Oh man, but Stingray really fighting back strong here on this uh, last stock of his. Cider hits. Weapon throw goes up, picks up another Lance. It's Prime, so it means Axe is coming up next. Goes for the weapon throw nice. down air, but he misses the down air. Can't get the pickup on the stop air. Means that Stingray has obliterated the lead that Costlix worked so hard to have. Yeah, that happened in an instant, man. I'm looking, I'm like, wow, <laughs> like that was, it was so quick. It was a full stock. And, and, and oddly enough, Oh, I can't believe I say that. I'm say i saying this. It's because Costlix was on the lands instead of the axe. Am I saying <laughs> yeah, this right? Am I, 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 I think so, <laughs> dude. I, I know. It's like, it's weird to say. It's like, ah, oh, but, like, look but he, he's, he's doing lighting right up now, now. He's looking like the lumberjack. Oh, no, Give back. me that oh, tree. Okay. Mm. Okay. Chop that dude down. That's fine. That's basically an axe there. <laughs> that, that ended the right there. I think I think if we look at the damage dealt at the end, it's going to be in favor of the axe. And that's, that makes Costlix incredibly terrifying because it's not like his prowess on the lance has disappeared because he got good at another weapon. <laughs> so, right, so it's like, it's like, oh no, we have to worry about this. Uh, and it's interesting, Stingray and Experience, both players that I think are very, very good at Demon Island. Demon Island is their mammoth fortress, per se, if we're mm -hmm. looking at uh, how players love that stage throughout Brawlhalla Esports history. Costlix, one of the first veteran players that I really feel like made Demon Island his home. I used to talk about this all the time whenever I watched him play. Don't take Costlix to Demon Island. He's so good with I feel like it was made for him. <laughs> yeah, and, and and now it's like, well, the players that have that stage is a comfort Three, pick. Two, it, it's kind of it's kind of a dilemma because you want to go here, but at the same time, Costlix like this is where I'm most comfortable too. So we'll see how this shakes up because Stingray did bring it back pretty well against Costlix in Game One, but Costlix still won pretty handily. Because like you can't forget the like most famous clip of Costlix and Twos just dash dancing on Twilight Grove, right? Costlix yep. doesn't like to jump, right? So if you yes. give him a stage where it's like, oh yo, like this or Brawl Haven where there is just no platforms, you're forced to play his neutral game the entire time. Yep. So he's more than happy to take Sting right here every time. And to clarify, oh. When you say dash dancing, we, we literally mean he's 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 <laughs> that was such a great side but he's he's literally the only player that does this dash forward dash back in mm -hmm. play play style. Uh, and a, a lot of other players will do this thing where, like it's kind of icing people out where they'll they'll run back and forth without pressing the dash button and save dash for a reaction. But Costlix, his whole entire neutral game revolves around this, and we're seeing it right there. We saw a dash forward dash back neutral light. He catches Stingray with this a lot, and just look out for a little bit more. And as you said, I love this point. Nice. 
It's because there's no platforms. You you have to be playing the game that Costas is playing. On this he's stage. trying to catch landings. You know that's what it's all about. Beautiful down stick from Stigray there to go ahead and catch that first stock. And we're gonna see how he's able to answer back to Costas because I feel like Costas has been dictating the pace of this set so far in very convincing fashion. And if there's anything I know about Costas, I watch his YouTube videos all the time. He's always talking about how he trains his reactions. Right? Ooh. Like he's not really a player that loves to go for the read. He likes to go for a setup, see where you're gonna dodge, and he tries to react. We've been seeing that in full effect here with some of these setups. Yeah, on the Lance, trying to go for the Nairs now, staying a little bit more airborne, but there he was, staying on the ground, Stingray staying nice. above. He's been getting, that's the second successful down stick that we've seen from Stingray so far. The last one knocked out, this one brought him back to even damage. Kostlix over on the X. What will it be? Side light, Nair recovery? No, goes for the side air, and Stingray dodges down. Mm -hmm. That down stick was punished. Kostlix adapting quite well. The first two were perfect, but that one was played around, and Kostlix takes the lead again. Yeah, and I think the big thing there was that I think for the past two that Stingray was able to get, I think he was able to get him off like a down air. He'd do like a down air and go for the down six. Sometimes I call it a true combo, even though it's not, because it works all the time. Hold on, Kostlix starting to chef up a little bit here. Gets a neutral six, still beating up on Stingray. Stingray finally makes it down what? to the ground, but he went from white to orange off of that. Kostlix did something that blew my mind, and that was he hit the he hit Lance down light. And then he waited for Stingray to dodge through him, and then he hit him four times. I've never seen a, a dodge in punish off of Lance down. Like, usually they just try to go for neutral light afterwards that's or something facts. like that. So that's crazy. Kostlik's got so much damage on the Stingray off of that, and the Sider just finishes the Beautiful. game. And that's nearly a JV. It, it, it's, it's pretty dark. He's been up 200 damage a game, Flambo. This is... What? Kostlik, I, okay. What is Stingray going to do? I, is it Legend or Stage, or does he just try again with the Taros? I mean, I feel like Taros is a fine pick, but I also feel like he's getting that. beat oh. like handily when it comes to the Axe Ditto, and that's something that like that's no weird. Legend pick is going to to fix for you unless yeah. you just swap to a different weapon. If Cossacks is just straight up beating you in neutral, he's beating you in neutral. You know what I mean? And the mm -hmm. thing is, like Stingray did catch on to some things. Like Cossacks oh. is a kind of player we mentioned that likes to stay grounded, and when you're a player that's like that, you develop develop a habit when you get hit where you try to start dodging down towards the ground. But, you know, we saw two down six come out of that. Kostlix was like, oh crap, I'm doing the thing again, let me not, and then was able to just make the adjustments yep. and win from there. Yep, yep, Kostlix adjusted much faster than Stingray did. And that's put him into a position now um, where he's up 2-0, oh I believe. Wow, look at that. I mean, Kostlix, I mean, I was saying he was getting beat in the accident, but you're looking at that. <laughs> like, that that was all Lance all day in that last game. It was kind game. of all Lance. I didn't even realize it was that heavily all Lance. Because he cleaned him up so fast. Oh, my goodness. I know. It was bad. <laughs> I swear he got one knockout with Axe. I think it was like an Axe neutral light, but I didn't, re I didn't realize that was the one of two moves that he hit that yep. game. <laughs> that was, okay, Sting. Am I, am I looking at this right? Is that Hattori? Is that, is that Stingray the Hattori? Okay, Spirit, Spirit. Okay, he's watched that movement speed going up against Kostlix here on Demon Island in game number three. Let's go, Kostlix on the Lance going against Stingray's Hattori. This is what I'm talking about, right? I mean, add this to the 20 or so legends that Stingray has played competitively. I mean, maybe he's said it in the past, but uh, here we go, Kostlix. He's, he's cooking, man. I mean, Spear is one of those weapons we don't see often anymore. Every time we do, it's usually on like a Bryn or something or Hattori, right? Which, okay, we see Hattori. Haven't seen her yet today, I don't believe. But, I mean, Stingray so far making the Spear look pretty solid. I think yeah. it's a decent pick into the Rocket Lands, to be honest. Yeah, and Stingray has a whole ton of weapons he has prepared. Nice. But the Spear makes the most sense to me, as we say time and time again he uh, first made his appearance in the Black Knight, Lance and Spear. Mm -hmm. So it, it's coming through here with a lot of experience on it. Side light into Nair, tries to get the neutral stick off of it, but Stingray takes the first lead that he's taken all set. Let's see if he can keep it, because Kostlix is really going for nice. that effort. Whoa, that's so cool. Side air into the perfect position to get the ground pound, and it just barely didn't touch the stage, so he was able to cover the entire wall of Demon Island. Another reason why I feel like Kostlix is so good on that stage, that's a setup that is basically perfect only for here, because mm -hmm. there's nowhere that you can fade away unless you, I don't know. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know what he was supposed to do there. He got the perfect reaction. Wow, and he got the dodge right there as well. Kostlix on this Rocket Lance is looking good. Stingray answers back. He needs to starve him, dude. That's definitely your key, your ticket to victory here. Where's the weapon going to spawn? It's on the left side, which means Stingray can't starve him anymore. Yeah, great but spawn. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> Neutral light hits, and Kostlix puts Stingray to the side. Oh, Stingray's sweating. He's got to be careful about this landing. He lands with the down air, does touch the stage. It's Kostlix close. stares off the side of the stage. The side to pick up. Good punish. First stock could go either way. I feel like Kostlix is going to be looking. Oh, now he's on the axe. It's a little bit different. Landing one solid side air here could be pretty good. Side air and a weapon throw. Pick up the lance, get the edge guard on the way back. I feel like it's like what's probably going to happen. 
Okay, he gets Sire, the Sire. But he doesn't do the weapon throw, so... Nice. Just reads a jump, you know? Sometimes wow. it's that simple. He's like, I think you're gonna go high. I think you're scared of me. And one thing, like, I thought we might see the Ogrim Axe down sig come yeah. out, because it's, like, one of the better sigs that Ogrim has, and it can KO. And he hasn't even threatened it, but you can tell the Stingray, like, knows the options there, oh. and he's still scared of it. Kosselix is doing so many mix-ups off of the Lance down, like, none of them worked out. Stingray <laughs> gets the down sig, but it's cool to see. Um, like one time he dashes back twice, and the other time he uh, chase dodges off of and Stingray Ooh, just kind of like, oh nice. man, that is so, is so great as a spear player to see that. Uh, just being able to get two side lights, down light side air, side light side air from Koslik's though. Oh, oh no. You don't have a lot of jumps oh, here. Oh, third side air could be huge. Okay, and Koslik's just backing up to the corner a little bit, stays on the ground, right? What? He doesn't jump, he dashes up and end lights. And it's going to cost him only a little bit. He has superior positioning, but the damage differential is pretty close here. Stingray, he has no dodge right now. You can see Koslix does a weapon oh. throw to land, but it doesn't help him. Stingray oh. has a lot of pressure Wait. on Koslix right now. Stingray does have... Oh, and that Sider doesn't go for the weapon throw. He wants to stay enough? entirely on the spear. It's been two down sick knockouts so far. He there tries to go is. for the third, and that might have cost him. Dodge is gone. Koslix picks up a lance. Oh, that was huge. I thought he was going to be the edge card here. Okay, another chance. Oh. Dodge gone once again. Koslix doesn't get the punish, and Stingray downers his way back oh. on the stage. That's so Got close it. to being it. He just has to close out the edge guard, and he misses the recovery. Oh, this is bracket life for Stingray, oh, no. and that Sarah might have sealed jumps. the deal. He doesn't get the edge guard, but a reverse Sarah off the backboard almost takes him out, has the recovery, gets oh, hit so by Koslix recovery. Oh. He's still alive. The There's so many attacks. How does he dodge them all? I can't believe Koslix came back from that left side of the stage and it got that ridiculous edge guard. And I say ridiculous in the sense that Stingray like technically made it back three times during it, mm -hmm. but it never felt like it was truly over. What a crit look like, that, that That was checkmate. That was a really awesome start. I, I have not really like seen that and looking at that right now, that looks so perfect for the stage. Side light uh, ground pounds. Oh man, does he say oh this is where he just gets the stare. That was a clean amazing. Because I, I was thinking a lot of players, myself included, would have just thought, okay, got the first stair, get the weapon throw, go back, pick up a new weapon. But that's not what he does there. Gets the recovery, picks up the lance, and the cider catches him on the way back down. Oh, and that was so tough to deal with. He dodged down, and it was like, what, did he have to double jump really fast or something? Because that stair was coming for him, and he didn't really have a whole lot of options to and get out of there. And the stair was positioned to cover grounded or a dash and jump. jump. Yeah. 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 That was, that was just a great... Uh, Great cleanup from Koslix and what was looking like a potential game three victory for Stingray. Koslix with a three to six.